Hi, welcome to Whiskey's The Journey. <laughs> She's just going to jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary Bridget Fasciano. And I'm Peter Fasciano. And today is Monday, which means... No, it's not Monday. It's Friday. We're going to be shooting a Monday video, but this video oh. is a Friday video, which is going to be yep. another... Battle bottle. <laughs> battle bottle? Battle did bottle. It again. I did it again. <laughs> So this is going to be where we're taking two samples of whiskeys from my collection. I matched them up. My sister randomly drew them from my sample pool. We don't know what they are, but we do have them labeled on the bottom. So what we're going to end up doing is pouring them. We're going to taste them. We're going to nose them. Not necessarily in that order. And at the very end, we will reveal which one we like the most. So I'm going to... Okay. And hopefully I'll one. be right putting it in the That'll right. That'll be our, our left. And that will be our right. So I'll keep them straight. She doesn't know her rights from her left. I do not, but this this is on my left. What? This one. Is your right. Yes. <laughs> so this is on her left. That's on our right. Yeah. All right. Now that we got that straight, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and start with the glass on our left <laughs> and give you some nosing notes, some tasting notes. We're gonna go back and forth, and then, like I said, tell you what we think. These are sweet. Maybe they're bourbons, because in the last last couple we got rye. Yeah, right? no, the last one I think we did a scotch. This smells like an Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say green apple again. Oh no! Like we not did, like not like, like it last was the week. last time. It's very sweet. It's very sugary. Yeah. It's very fruity. A little bit of spice for me. Hmm. I'm not getting the spice. And I'm just getting the sweet. I want to say a touch of like ginger and pepper. That would be the spice. But lots of vanilla. I I say green apple. Yeah, I do get the green apple and the sweetness of the either vanilla or a slight maple. But watch, I'm going to say Irish again, and it's going to be like an American single malt or a Japanese or something. I guess when I stick my nose way down in it, yeah, it I get a little bit of spice. It doesn't seem proofy. I was going to say, do you get proof from it? Well, when I stick my nose like down in it. But yeah, I have a hard time sometimes doesn't. figuring out the difference between like a spice, a ginger and a pepper spice, and then a proof. ABV proof or ABV uh, heat. But it smells really yeah, good. Yeah, it smells good. Right. And it smells like, it smells delicate in flavors. So we'll see if it's delicate. Cheers, Cheers. on the palate. Ooh, That's good. That is really good. That is candied apple sweetness. Mm. And there is a little bit of a proof there. I, I kind of, it's kind of a little bit of an, a little bit of a growing elevation of like uh, effervescence mm -hmm. on the side of my tongue. Is that what you, when you say it, it feels proofy, is that what you, um, Some, effervesce, yeah, sometimes. effervescence, you connect with proofiness? Sometimes I do. Okay. But it's hit and miss. I mean, okay. that effervescence comes and goes depending upon whatever it is that you're drinking. It also could just be the very first drink of the day. Yeah. Kind of gives me that. Because I want effervescence to me. I mean, I know what that it's like um, carbonation. Yeah. I've never equated it with proofiness. What I equate with proofiness is all of a sudden if I get like a burn. Okay. So it, so it, a burn in the mouth, a burn in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Or just heat, like heat in general. So okay. I guess I didn't realize when I when I get that effervescence feeling that that's the proof. Okay. Okay. That, Initial impressions. Do you like it? I. I like it. Yeah, my initial really impression like is it. too. I really like it like, a lot. Like this as well. is something that I could actually say, "Hey, pour me some," and actually drink it. Like I could finish this and probably will. Yeah, I'm liking um, this one quite a yeah, bit as well. Yeah, so I'm interested to see what it actually is. Well, let's get a rinse totally. and then move on to glass number two. Okay, I'm interested to see what this both smells like and tastes like because you pair these for a reason. So. If I sometimes I think in my mind like, oh, if you're gonna like the first one, you might like the second one because you paired them for a specific reason. Right. Well, let's find out if okay. you like it. It's not as vibrant. Oh, cool. sorry. You need to you need to smell it. That's okay. Oh, but now it is. Gosh mm, dang it! This smells proofier. I'm getting sulfur again. Yeah, the first um, scent was sweet, and then all of a sudden on the back end, you got a little t uh, a smell of a matchbook. Yeah. So but now that I'm, was after the initial sweetness. So then again, that kind of solidifies it again to me for either a sherried whiskey or an Irish sherried finished whiskey. But it I does smell... I don't know what sherry tastes like. Do you know what sherry tastes like? Not the girl, the alcohol. The actual alcohol itself, yes. like the, a bottle of sherry? I haven't. I know Lorenz had uh, mentioned getting some sherry and tasting it. 
but we haven't done that no. yet. So we should Maybe be able. We, we should. should do that. I wonder that. if we have sherry at my house. We probably we I may because of cooking, because John likes no, to cook. No, I don't think. I think drinking sherry is different than, than cooking than the sherry. Cooking sherry. Okay. Yeah, this and one, it's very different than oh sherry. From, my love. from uh, Steve Perry. Yeah. Okay, let's drink this. Well, what do you else? Do you get anything else on the nose? I do get other sweetness, than... but I can identify. It's definitely not like hitting you in the nose, obviously, with the apple like this one does. But there is a sweetness. Pine pineapple, maybe? Pineapple, maybe? Okay. If that's what you get, that's fine. Do you I do you get it? Because you're usually really good at it. No. Picking up pineapple. I don't. The get, nose. I don't get pineapple. What I am getting is like a mashup of red apple and green apple. Okay. And I'm also getting sulfur. Yeah, I do this get is, the sulfur. I'm trying to figure out what the sweetness this is. This is not as vibrant on the nose as this. Mm, can I go back to this one for? It's You could do whatever you want. Yeah, glass number one has has it all over on the nose. So but glass this number one has, is more complex on the nose. Really? Don't you think? I mean, smell this one. Other than this. I the mean, it smells good and it smells sweet but this one also says smells sweet and has other things underneath it like it smells more complex to me okay all right well, everyone's nose is it. different yeah i get i get sulfur a mashup of red and green apple and I'm, I'm missing the ginger and pepper spice from from the glass that glass number one has i like glass number one on the nose better all right so. i just got a slight candy smell all right. on that Cheers. very last sniff Cheers. Mm, that's good too. That is good. Heavier. Oh, yeah. It's heavier. It's thicker. Mm -hmm. It seems to stick it's to the mouth to a little tongue. bit more. Mm -hmm. That effervescence is still there. It has a little bit more of, yeah, on, on the nose, I didn't get it, but on the palate, I would say that it is a little bit more complex. It is. I think there's a little bit more happening. Here's a question for you Are you getting to the point where you were starting to develop flavors? on the arrival, like right on the very tip of the tongue, to the mid palate, to the finish. Does does this change as it goes from the front of the palate to the back? Okay, so I have a, a long explanation for that, of course, because it's me. You always <laughs> you always say that, and, I'm tr and when we taste, I try to see if there is a, so are you referring to you get a different taste on the front of your tongue, a different taste on the middle of your tongue, and it, a different taste yeah. on the back. The, I don't get I don't get that so much like different places on my tongue. I have different flavors. What I do have is the initial flavor tastes one way. And then as that initial flavor wears off, I'll get a second taste. I can't identify whether that taste is coming from a specific those changing in taste is coming from specific parts of my tongue. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. But I do does. get when you say, so I would say beginning, middle, and end. I get a beginning flavor, I'm picking up on that, and then all of a sudden I can key into, oh, that just changed to something else, and then a couple of seconds later as we talk, all of a sudden I'll be like, ooh, I just got a completely different taste on my mouth. With this one, because it lingers, that definitely happened. The initial taste was sweet, and then it went to, I wanna say bitter, but can I taste it? I'm gonna. I, <laughs> you, I, get, I have to stop asking for your do whatever permission. You want. Do whatever you want. All right, let me. Now, so while she's tasting this, I think that this is more vibrant on the nose, like I had already mentioned. But I do think that this seems to go through a little bit more of a development from the arrival to the mid palate to the finish. It sticks around a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It's more viscous. I, maybe it, it's not more complex, but I think there's more stickiness to it if that it if is that very makes, sticky and i i totally understand sense. what you're saying it like it feels like it's sticking to my tongue because it feels thicker um the, at the front of my tongue I, I get a ton of sweet and then it changes and maybe that's just because the, it's the first part of my tongue that it hits but i'm not sure the areas of your tongue like which part of your tongue is supposed like to sweet, pick up salty, sweet umami. salty yeah we're going to go back and forth, you know, A, B, B, A, compare, you know, smell it a little bit, let our palates acclimate, calm down a little bit, and then taste them again. And then once we've finished that up, we'll get back to you. So before we go, just to let you know, I do have a June and July giveaway happening. The rules to the giveaway are in the description. If you're interested in donating to the channel, supporting the channel, 
just read the rules in the description and then we'll be right back. All right, I think uh, we've got a decision. And I think just like last week, we might be split here. Yeah. So our, discus our discussion uh, during all of this <clears throat> was almost kind of like we had last week. One of them ended up being a little bit more complex. Mm -hmm. One of them was a little bit more of a one note. And then something strange with me happened going back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump in go and explain This mine. is your show. When we... I couldn't tell that from the introduction. <laughs> from the... You, because you were just sitting there not saying anything for a while, so I figured I would get it started. <laughs> Let's get this party started already. Glass number one on the nose, I think, is a clear winner. And then when I tasted it, it tasted like red and green apple. And then as I went back the other direction, that red and green apple turned into bitter red and green apple skins along with a sulfur note. So On the first one? On the first one. That's what happened to me. And then going back to glass number two, even though that that sulfur note was there, the sweetness with the pepper and ginger spice that came through elevated it to a little bit more of a complex pour. I think they're both pretty well put together, but glass number two for me edges out glass number one because it didn't turn bitter. It doesn't have that over the top sulfur note that I ended up getting in glass number one after going back the other direction. And right hmm. before we came back on, I said I needed another sip, sip right. of each just to double check that. But the sulfur note on the palate just kind of rose up and gave me a, a bitter apple that's, skin note. So I'm, I'm going with glass number two. two. Okay. I, I, and that's funny because I'm opposite of you because I wouldn't say this is a one note, maybe a 1.25 note, <laughs> but it was a good 1.25. It was very sweet. It did, it like it started to want to develop into something, but just stayed consistent. But that consistency was good. This one did change. And I ended up finishing with this one and it, it developed and it changed sweet at first and then a little bit bitter. And then I was telling him at the very end, at the, the back of my tongue, it finished and lingered with a sulfur note. Um, so we're opposite. Like you felt that this finished with the sulfur note. Yeah. And I felt this was just sweet from beginning to end. And this one finished with like a bittery sulfur note that's it's still in my mouth. I can see, well, and I made the comment to him. I said, I would be interested in if these were both the same uh, maker because they have similar characteristics, like the, both red breasts or both spots or something along those lines because they do taste similar in their that sweetness profile, but this changes into something else. I So I'm, I'm going with this one. That's a long explanation, but I'm going with this one but I can see that soon I could be here in my journey, that um, this complexity and the changing of it wasn't so drastic. It was like a gradual okay. changing in complexity that I could see I could be here very soon I as opposed as to- well. Especially the one, at the rate that your palate's yeah, developing. Especially the that. one we did last week. Like, it, like I, I call it like ping ponging, like, oh, now I taste this, now I taste this. Um, this was a very like, like an like an old person ping pong, like it's very slow. <laughs> it's like very slow. It's not a fast game of ping pong. So it was enough for my mind to go, oh, oh, okay. Are you ready to reveal it? I am. I'm kind so, of. So you're thinking that I'm they're glass Irish? Yeah, I'm glass number two. You're glass number one. Right, and I like this one best. But look think, at how much. So for him saying that he liked this one the most. Look how much he ended up drinking out of the because first one. Because it was my first sip, and you know, I can't regulate myself, and I just took a bigger sip than I would okay. normally, normally So do sip. you want do you want to... Well, we revealed my number one first last time, so let's reveal... My number one is over there. Is there here? So this is my sister's This is number, number two. One. Okay, so this is your number one, so let's see. I, I do have a sneaking suspicion that sometime very soon... I'm going to like this and actually yeah. ask and for it. I like them both. I would drink both of these at any time, but I would actually reach for <laughs> glass number two more so if somebody was offering. Can I can I look really quick at what that is sure. before I? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So my suspicion was not right. All right. So your glass number one is yellow spot 12. Oh, yellow spot. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Yellow spots, a spot whiskey, 12 years of age. And then my. So I, that's why I asked to see that because I was curious to see if this was a spot. Okay. But and then so my, it's, so it's not. So what, you can. What's this one? Because I can't see. I took my glasses oh, off. Oh, okay. This is red best 12. Red, red breast, breast 12. So it's just, it's normal red breast. It's not the cask strength yeah, red breast. Red, Let me go ahead and grab the bottles is. really quick just to refresh our memory. I think, I think they're 46% ABV, but let me grab them just in case. Oh. All right, so there are the bottles. So this one seems to be... Triple distilled, mature... Bourbon, oh, sherry, I see what you're and uh, Malaga. Malaga. So Malaga? three What's cask. Malaga? I think it's just a different type of, of Spanish wine, I think. Okay. Like sherry wine. And then red breast is just the the classic bourbon and, and sherry. So, <laughs> what is what? What does sherry butts mean? And it's actually butts as in yeah, your rear end. Yes, but the butts is the uh, the cask itself. So, just a little side note, because we were we're doing barbecue competitions, we cook Boston butts, and the reason why the pork shoulder is called a Boston butt is because. In Boston, they had to ship the pork, and what they would do is they would just put them in butts, barrels, are called butts. Oh, is butts. that what barrels are called or called butts? So they ended up oh, shipping okay. them out in I'm like, butts. like, what is a sherry so butt? So it's a Boston <laughs> butt, and it's sherry butt, so it's just this, okay. the cask. Red Breast 12 in my area is $50, and then the yellow spot, when I purchased it, I think it was like 115 but I think it's now. and, no, that looks like it may have been a zero. It's worn off. You need to, uh, no, does that say 199 109.99. So when I first purchased this one, it was basically $110, but I think they're going for like 115 or 135 now. So yeah. So there you go. So I liked the the red breast, and you liked the yellow spot. Yep. And I'm excited that now I have some Irish whiskeys that I can say that I actually like. So I can't say that I don't like Irish whiskey anymore. Now I actually have to just say, well, I like. Red Rest 12. <laughs> All right, so if you've had either one of these, if you've had them in a blind, let us know where they finished in your blind. That's where we're going to leave it. Yeah, that was a good pour. Yeah, wherever you're at in your journey, we hope you're enjoying it. Because we are definitely enjoying ours. And I've got my sister for one more video because at the time of this being aired, I am in Salt Lake City for our fourth or fifth Master Series KCBS yes. event. And this one's in Salt Lake City. I think it's the fire of 47 festival something know, like that I'm not, not exactly sure but uh, that's where i'll be everyone that's interested in the results for the kcbs events that we've been to just go and go to the community tab and the pictures from our past events are there so leave me a comment leave us comments in this video let us know what are the matchups we can do and that's where we're going to leave it. All right. So we're going to cheers today because at the filming of this, it's actually our brother Michael's oh, birthday yeah. today. So we'll, we'll cheers to Michael. Happy, for birthday, happy Michael. birthday, Michael. And then our cheers. mother's birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, mom's birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to you both.